Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a few ways that you can test and debug your AI agents as you're building them. We're also going to cover some common errors that people make when they're building their AI agents. So let's go ahead and get started. I have four examples here and they all pretty much do the same thing. They're going to be a blog post generator, a very simple blog post generator. And there are a couple of ways in which you can test out your AI agents and verify that everything's working. The first thing you're going to want to check is your errors tab. And this is going to show you if there are any blocks that are misconfigured or any variables that you're using that are not being referenced properly in your workflow. So we can see here in the errors tab, there are no errors or warnings. And so the next step is to use the debugger in order to test out your AI agent and actually run it. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the debugger and we can see here that in this case, there was one run and the debugger is going to show you all of the previous runs. We can activate a new run in a couple of different ways. And the way we do that is by clicking on the preview and we can use run in debugger or we can open up a draft agent. When we open up a draft agent, it's going to show you an exact preview of what your AI will look like to your end user. So in this case, we have a user input that is asking what we'd like to write about. So let's say I want to write about dogs and I click on the next button and we will have the AI running and we can see the uh, AI as output on uh, saying, yes, I can, I can write about this, but let me know what you want to write about. So what that's indicating to us is that it's actually not getting that user input that we collected. So let's take a look back inside of our agent and we can see that this shows that the run was correct. However, when we look at our message here, we can see um, a couple of different things. Let's go into our workflow and just go step by step. So the first block, there was nothing to configure. The second block, it looked like the uh, topic was being um, saved. And in our generate text block, we actually forgot to use that variable in our prompt. And this is a pretty common error. Uh, sometimes you can get caught up in the workflow and you want to make sure that your prompt is set up correctly. So let's go ahead and use the proper um, opening and closing tags. And then we can use the double curly braces to include our variable topic. And now when we run the AI agent, let's go ahead and run it one more time by simply going back to the tab and we can refresh these three dots at the top right. We can reload the draft. Now let's try again. And this time when we run the AI agent, we do get our blog post about dogs, man's best friend. Very good. So that's the first example. Make sure that you are utilizing the variables that you have set up previously in the workflow. Moving on to the next example here. This is another pretty common um, error that people make, and we should be able to see this in our errors tab. You can see here that we do have a notification at the very top. And if we click on this, it's going to open the errors tab. And if we look at the error, you'll see the variable topy is referenced, but does not exist. Now our variable is topic, not topy. And so what that means, if we click on this error, it will highlight the block where the error uh, occurs. We can uh, simply fix a typo. Now this is another pretty common uh, error that happens as you're building your AI agents. Just make sure you're using proper spelling. Now we can quickly test this by opening the draft agent or we can run it in the debugger if we include a test value, which should be here at the bottom. You can see I have a test value of race cars. So we can test out our AI agent without opening up the draft by running it in the debugger and we can click on run. And you'll notice here that when you use user inputs, you'll need to make sure that you include a test value in order for it to run properly in the debugger. So let's go ahead and run it. We should be able to see the debugger starting here at the very bottom, and we can expand the debugger by clicking on this icon here. And you'll notice that each step in the debugger shows the steps in the workflow. So in this case, we have a step, the start block to start the run. We have a user input and it's using the test value to set the topic variable to that race car value that we had set. 
And then we can see the generate text block here via the programmatic message. And you can see here, this is the prompt that it's getting, including the variable. When that resolves, meaning when that variable is replaced with the value, it looks like this. So it looks like it is including race cars in the prompt, so that's great. And then the output we can see here generates a uh, blog post about race cars. And so this is indeed now working. So moral of the story is make sure that you check for any spelling errors for your variables here. Moving on to the next example, this is a pretty common mistake that people tend to make. Let's go ahead, we can check our errors and we can see there are no errors here. And so that's gonna bring us to our next step, which means we're going to either run in the debugger or open up a draft. Let's go ahead and open up a draft. And in this case, we want to write about cats. So let's see what the output is. Now, in this case, it is generating some text. However, that text seems like a bunch of garbled text and gibberish, and we're not quite sure what's happening here. It almost looks like the AI is uh, speaking to us in a completely different language. And the reason this is happening, if we jump back into our workflow, is if your temperature for your AI model is set too high, it can run the risk of creating this gibberish text. So if we look at our generate text block, you can see here that we are using GPT-4 O mini and our temperature is set to the maximum value. Now, really quick, if we go to our model settings and we set our temperature to the maximum value, we get this unstable warning. And we even get a warning that says it might result in garbled text or gibberish. And so it's good practice just to make sure and verify that you are setting the temperature to a place that uh, it will generate the proper uh, output. So I'm gonna move this back to the middle and this should be running properly now. So let's go ahead and we will open up the draft agent one more time. And we can ask it to write about cats one more time. And now we can see that it has resolved and is indeed a generating text that is legible and makes sense. So let's move on to our final example here. We need to look at our errors one more time and we can see we have an error that says message in generate text block cannot be empty. Now this is a true error and not a warning like these other uh, errors were. And if we click on it, we can see that we actually forgot to fill in our generate text block. And this can happen a lot when you're experimenting and you have multiple blocks and you're linking blocks to different places. Sometimes you uh, might delete the prompt because you're wanting to try something else and you forgot that you deleted it. So we just fill this in. We can say, write a blog post about the following topic. And we can provide the topic and the tags. There we go. And just like that, our error has now disappeared. So we should have a proper functioning AI agent. So there are other errors that you may encounter. The other thing that you should know is that if you need help at any time when you are running your AI agents, please feel free to reach out to our support team or post in our community. You can find our support team by clicking on help and support. And this is going to give you access to our support forum, many video tutorials, documentation, uh, as well as uh, opening up quick help tabs. So I highly recommend that you click on our support forum, post a question to our forum and our um, team or community members of Mind Studio, other AI agent builders will likely answer your question. So that's all for this video. If you learned something, please make sure to like and subscribe and stay up to date with our latest video content. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.